Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Three Bands. Yeah, this is gonna be a really neat video. It's gonna be a little bit different. There's no like organization. I just kind of took all the shoes off. I got them together as best as I could. And I figured, you know, hey, let's talk about Run DMC shoes and I'll just go through them one at a time. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot on each particular shoe just because we would be here obviously a very long time but i thought it would just be neat to see some run dmc shoes together and share them with you because when i was out looking and collecting run dmc shoes it's really hard to find a any video on it and b the collection of it, the shoes together so here we go i'm just going to jump in and just start showing you one pair at a time i'll tell you just a little bit about them and we'll just kind of move on i hope you enjoy it and as always uh this is just from collecting what you love i grew up with run dmc hip-hop is a huge part of my life and it still is a part of my life and it's just something that I will I will just always be sentimentally attached to. Uh, start right here. We've got a neat pair of my Adidas. These were signed by DMC. Got these from a charity golf event. Pretty sick shoes. Pretty cool. Now the ones up front, these are going to be your made in France Adidas Ultra Stars and Broms. Now they made a lot of these different types of shoes. A couple things about them. First, when I collect them, I like to find them with these original tags intact. That's dope. And the box. That's just like just an amazing thing to do uh, as well if you can find them with any of the trefoil now these are called this is called the trefoils on around here and because of how the tongues are they just deteriorate um, so particularly this one that I still have the trefoil on and these ones they have the trefoil on them but I'll just kind of go up I'm not gonna go in deep depth about all that these are some run DMC's ultra stars made in France I grabbed these El Dorados just because they were, honestly, I love EMC, of course, but because they were purple. These are a purple colorway. And you see, they still really have a lot of their tree full still intact. This is a green pair of Ultra Stars hiding under here. I've done so many photo shoots with these that the tree foils have fallen off on those. But just really sick pair of shoes. Ones I'm holding in my hand uh, are a little bit later in the 2000s. They made several of this pack that came out ultra stars and let's see grab this pair this is a tribute shoe i call it the shiny gloss jmj tribute shoe again i'll pop up stuff on the screen so you can know more about them that's just a really neat pair of shoes put those right there and let's move on to the back row uh, these are the ultra stars neat thing about these particular pair this is this is a pair and let me move these out of the way and then you've got the blue pair right with the snakeskin details these are really cool ones because these both of these are sample pairs so the colorways kind of the same, but it's going to be a little bit different from the release version. I've got the release versions as well. Uh, of most of these shoes, I have I have several pairs just because I love DMC. Uh, let's go over here. This is the Run DMC 35th anniversary pack shoe right here. Cool. And next to it, sitting up top, is a pretty special pair of shoes. They these are the JMJ tribute shoes. These are the Click shoes. This is a neat pair of shoes because the box that came with this, the packaging is, is dope. But this is a pair that actually came from Mayer's personal collection. Mayer, I guess it was, what, a year and a half, two years ago that he put up some of his for sale. So I grabbed this pair and a few other pairs. I think, I don't know if there was 100 or less than 100 of these made. This was also released with the Pro Model. This particular shoe, it was released and that's where this shirt came from. The shirt came when you bought the shoes. Next to it is another Jam Master J kind of tribute shoe. Really neat pair of shoes and it also came with the certificate, you know, saying how many pair that it came with. Really neat pair of shoes. Ultra Stars we talked about. Um, this is going to be, I believe this was the 25th anniversary pack that they did with my Adidas. You can see that my Adidas on the front, which is really neat right there on the tongue. Got the little gold lock on it come around and on the back JMJ really neat next to it is going to be the injection pack the injection pack is one of my favorites just because of the leather I like what they did with these leather they did a uh, dimpled leather on it which is pretty pretty sick and they made it to wear without the strings just like the ultra stars they're built with the elastic band on the inside so you can wear these without any shoe strings which is what I did when I was growing up. I was riding the school bus with my friends and we didn't have any shoestrings in our shoes. Of course, we didn't have the elastic in there. They just flopped around, but we didn't care, you know. It was cool. And then this is the Hollis Queens Holiday Blacks right here. 
really neat pack. These are, are made to wear without the shoestrings as well. All black shoe, really dope. Then moving up here on my right, seen these before. This is a pair of vintage signed by all three. So it's cool to have things that are signed, especially if you can get one with Jam Master J's signature on there. I like this one because this one was signed in silver. I just, I think that's dope. Kind of go around there with DMC on it. So a neat pair of shoes. Put these back up here. The next pair I'm gonna grab are gonna be some samples. El Dorado and Brahms, again, they made several of these. This is a pair that didn't release. But what I like about it, and these get a lot, when I post these, they get a lot of likes. Um, it's neat because it has Run DMC repeated, really small on one shoe and a little bit larger on the other one. So that's just kind of a neat detail. Kind of take these around. Let you see those. Whoa. Cool, right? Really wish they would have released these. Really do. Um, another pair that I've got sitting back here, although that, you know, it might not be the prettiest silhouette, I, st I still really like these a lot. Uh, what's really special about this pair of prototypes is they actually put their picture on the front of these which is just ridiculous. Temple of Run DMC. It's just a beautiful pair of shoes. So definitely one of my favorite pair. Um, again, wish they would have released these. Got just a little picture back here. Uh, there's a lot of signed memorabilia out there on the internet. Just be careful when you buy it, make sure it's legitimate. Uh, but with that being said, I grabbed this picture just because, you know, growing up, listening to Walk This Way, uh, that it was just you know a big deal so to have this sign when they performed at the award show with all the band was pretty neat and with that I'm not going to take it down uh, but up here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but this is a run DMC signs well I, mean, I will I'll just gonna take it down what the heck got this from Professor D's collection run DMC shirt signed by all three and what I think is really cool and when you open it up, where Jay put his name right there. That's kind of sick. Hang it back up. Let's see. Another pair. Um, I think these are the Bromes right here. Jays. Cool. Behind that sitting up top, this is, you have seen the review on these from Blunt Shank. These are the double V's. Just a beautiful black pair of custom shoes. High, high, high-end custom right here. Just because it's wrapped with leather on the bottom, wrapped with leather on the toe. It's finished on the inside as well as it is finished on the outside. The stripes are ghosted in. And then of course, you have that double V right there. Put these up here. Now below it, a lot of you know that DMC started his own comic books. When he started his own comic books and he launched it, he came out with the Friends and Family NMD shoe. So I ended up with two pair. Uh, just a quick story, again, not gonna go into detail. I picked up the, the pair that was Friends and Family. They made very few pair of these. And then lo and behold, I came across a pair of the confirmation samples, which I couldn't believe because they were already rare enough. So it was just dope to pick these up. And I just gotta grab this pair and show them to you. Coming on around, I like that gold hit. Daryl makes comics. Now the box itself, I won't go into today, but this box that's right back here, it is adorned with so many cool graphics. I mean, the graphics on it are just insane. So definitely probably at some point need to put together a video on that to show everybody. Uh, this is the comic book that came with it. You got the number three comic that came with that particular set, which is really cool. You can open it up, see everything that's in there. Cool. <laughs> That's dope, right? See him wearing the, well, just leave it open. You can see him right wearing the shell toes, right? That's sick. And right here, finishing it off, is going to be another blunt shank. This is the most current release of the 50th anniversary that we got. Um, you know, Blunt did his own little twist on these because we were kind of left holding the bag. Didn't really get the shoe that we wanted, you know. Uh, because of COVID and budgets and yada, 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 yada. But whatever the case, a beautiful pair of shoes. I think he made 10 pair of these and I was lucky enough to get a pair. Uh, Benji can definitely make you a pair of customs if you would like, depending on you know how detailed you want it to be. And that's a pair right there. 
and then that's kind of it there are going to be some more there are a lot more of these shoes out there but it's just fun if you like something if you love something to start collecting them and put them together and then every time i look at one of these pair of shoes i get a different memory right and that's that's the beautiful part of it i can kind of connect these these are kind of like taking pictures and every time you look at a picture you know you kind of go back to that moment so for me that's kind of what it's about but anyway, just kind of wanted to get all these together and talk to you for a minute. Just a very informal video. I'll pop up some pictures and stuff as I'm going through it. If you want to see a detailed review and know a lot more about any of these shoes, of course we can do that. Uh, just send me a message, you know. We'll figure it out. We'll do something, okay? But until next time, this is Three Bands. Collect what you love, and I'm out. Peace. I'm the king of rock, rock.